Now, Mr. Bahati, let me start with you. You say you fully intended to uh, introduce the reintroduce the anti-homosexuality bill into the next session after the new parliament was sworn in uh, this week. The original bill includes the proposed uh, penalties, and I'm going to uh, uh, repeat them here. A, a three-year prison sentence for anyone failing to report homosexuals. Seven-year sentence for, for providing protection or assistance to lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or LGBT individuals, life sentence for engaging in homosexual activity, death sentence for aggravated homosexuality. Now, let me ask you, Mr. Bahati, first of all, is the death penalty of the bill as reported last week? Well, the, the, the Committee of Legal and Parliamentary Affairs of the Parliament of Uganda has been considering this bill. And at the time we closed the eighth parliament, the report had not come to the floor. Uh, but what I know is that the death penalty is one of those things that, uh, as a sponsor of the bill, had moved away from. And uh, uh, but I cannot disclose what uh, were the contents of the report of the committee because. That's again at the rules of procedure for our parliament. Uh, but what I can say is that the new uh, of the bill will be a bill that will take care of the views that we have had over the last two years from different stakeholders. If that is the case, then uh, what does the new bill, the revised bill, contain? What does it say? Uh, well, the, the different stakeholders have been uh, making a lot of noise on the clause uh, to do with prevented homosexuality, to do with attempted uh, an attempt to homosexuality. Uh, and these are some of the, the amendments that we've been able to, to submit to the committee. But as I said, uh, the report can only be accessed after it has been presented to the, to, to the floor of the House. Uh, are you saying you are not prepared? But what I can say is that the new version will be able to take care of different views of the different stakeholders that have voiced their concerns about the bill, but will focus mainly on the inducement to stop the inducement of our children and the promotion of homosexuality in Uganda in order to protect the distance of our society and defend the future of our children. Mr. Bharti, do you think it was a mistake on your part to go to the extreme overreach, uh, I should say, uh, to include this death sentence in, in, in clause in the bill? I beg your pardon? Uh, I'm saying, do you think it was a mistake on your part to include the death sentence clause in the bill, in the in initial bill? Was it overreaching? It no, it is not. It is consistent, actually, with the law of defilement that we passed in 2007. It has never been a mistake. It was only the cunning uh, pro gay community that spinned around uh, a story around that cross and uh, distorted the facts about the bill. Uh, but the bill was uh, well intentioned to protect uh, the children of Uganda and had. Uh, it had a lot to do with the adult and minor arrangement than anything else.